Hi, I'm Alan Stokel. Uh, we just want to uh, spend a couple of seconds talking about Patreon. By you supporting me through Patreon, we can grow Marzipan Productions faster. Each year, the number of voters declines. We need some grassroots support to get young people and families into voting. Go faster! One of the ways is to uh, take the sport to the people. Not everyone wants to watch an old fart pontificate. With your support, we can hire some of these uh, new generation representatives who really know how to communicate with their peers. Ha! Peers! Nautical term. This takes more money than we can make on YouTube ads alone. YouTube has been very kind to us, but to really make this work, we need more cash. Boat! We'd like to do more stories on all our channels. For instance, on budget boat cruising, we can really get off the dock and show what it's like to cruise on a small boat. On Grampian Marine, we can do more expert work to help maintain those boats ourselves. Even world's worst maritime disasters can use the brass shined and uh, made a little more ship shape. Boat! You can start for as little as a dollar a month and uh, that will get you a credit on our next video. Thank you. Thank you. Not everyone can afford to buy and maintain a boat. That said, in many places, living on a boat can be an economical alternative to renting. Before you watch this video, ask yourself a few questions. One, are you willing to research how to get a boat for free or almost free? And two, are you the type of person who can live on a boat? Someone contacted me after watching my video on how to get a boat for free. They said uh, they wanted me to find one for them. I said no because my time is worth money and uh, they'd have to pay me. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be a free boat then. <laughs> um, now, how many free boats uh, aren't worth the price? Well. If you're uh, willing to pay a small amount, you can get a great boat at pennies on the dollar, if you know how. How? Well, look at me. I know that I probably won't be sailing in 10 or 15 years, and that um, I have this comfortable, well-maintained boat. My son isn't into sailing, so I'll be trying to sell it. The problem is that the boat is old, and people don't want old boats even when they have been very well maintained. The truth is that people like me are out there right now and you can get a bargain boat if you know where to look and how to bargain. Donald Trump seems to think the way to get the best deal is to insult people and then lowball them and uh, say take it or leave it. It doesn't work for him and it won't get you my boat. People selling their older boats do want to sell or give to people who appreciate their boat, so trying to drop the price by insulting their baby doesn't work. Now here's how to get one of these older boats. First, do your research on what kind of size of boat you want and what type. Make lists of what you must have and what you would like to have. For instance, you must have a boat with, a, with standing headroom and you would like to have one with pressurized water. You should have five or six items in each column. If your must-have list is too long, be prepared to pay more. After that, it's a matter of sale or power and uh, then size. Keep in mind that the cost of maintaining a longer boat with more like-to-have features can add up quickly. If it's your first time, 
you may want to keep your boat say under 30 feet uh, if it's a sailboat and maybe under 25 if it's a, a power boat. If you uh, find you enjoy life on the water you can trade up. If not you can still get out, with, uh, out without much of a financial penalty. We have lots of other videos on the subject of how to buy a boat. Please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified each time we post a video. Also, if you find uh, this video useful, please check out our Patreon page for a special bonus offer. By the way, we are looking for a sponsor at this time for our channel, so if your business is interested, let us know at the email address below. Okay, so, so far we've chosen the features, sailor power, and the size. Uh, now it's a good idea to have a look at a few boats that may meet your basic specifications and perhaps even find a particular model that you would like to have. When I was buying my last boat, uh, my wants and my needs list was quite short, but I knew I wanted a particular model and length, so that uh, really shortened the list. Older fiberglass boats can be very well made, and if well maintained, can be real bargains. You often do give up uh, things, but often you can retrofit older boats with new features. Also, if you are willing and capable of doing all the repairs, maintenance and upgrades yourself, you can save a barrel of money. Okay, so now let's return to free boats. I'm listing a number of links below that you can uh, click on. These are all resources, but if you are really interested, watch the rest of this video because I've got lots more good ideas. Also, the cards that show in the upper right hand corner will link to other videos on this topic. By lowballing and pointing out faults in the vessel, your boat's filthy, it'll cost me thousands to bring her back, uh, won't work well as it is, um, try something like this. This is a great old boat, and I really love what you've done with her. The problem is that I'm on a very limited budget and uh, dot dot dot. Let's get back to why I want to give you my boat. This boat I bought about a decade ago for $5,000. It was a bargain at the time and it came with uh, most of my must-haves and many of I, I would like to have. Uh, it's been a fine boat and I've customized it uh, from a boat that sleeps a crowded five to a boat that comfortably sleeps three, uh, actually mostly two, but three at a pinch. Uh, I'm not selling it today, but uh, I will be soon, and there are lots of people out there who are already give it, ready to give away their old boats right now. So today your job is to find them. Every country has their online want ads. I use Kijiji in Canada. There is also Craigslist and dozens of others worldwide. Usually boats advertised as free are not seaworthy, so you must choose if you want to work on the boat uh, on the hard or on the ground, uh, or perhaps pay a small amount for a boat that's in the water but perhaps uh, just needs some work, uh, preferably work you can do while it's still in the water. I don't know the percentages, but I would bet that the chances of ever selling a boat that is not seaworthy is quite low. You only need to go to a boatyard to see the field of broken dreams. These boats will never see the sea. I'm undecided as to how I will give away my boat. For instance, uh, would it be a, a lucky draw, or would I give it to someone who has been supportive of me and my channel, say through Patreon? Let me know uh, what you think in the comments below. One last thought. Getting something for free is great, but once you have it, what are you going to do with it? When getting a boat, keep in mind that even a free boat comes with expenses, so make sure you are prepared. Now I have some giveaways for you. 
I have uh, an Excel file on uh, boat budgets you might be uh, interested in. I also have a blank offer to purchase form um, for offer when you to buy a boat. Um, and I have a boat survey checklist, so if uh, the boat doesn't come with a survey, you might, if it's cheap enough, be able to do the survey yourself. I got a whole bunch more items too. Please check uh, the descriptions below. Please subscribe. Um, click on the bell to be notified each time we post. My name is Alan Stokel, and thank you very much for watching.